do you and a loved one suffer from gastropianoentitis? Then you may be entitled for a free consultation. All you have to do is call us toll free at 1-800-RIP-YOU-OFF. That's 1-800-RIP-YOU-OFF. We will gladly speak with you. One of our representatives will help you out and ensure you get the best care that you need. We will need your credit card information, the number on the back of your credit card, the name on the card, and your permission. And within the next month, your credit card will be overdrafted. So please, if you suffer from gastropianoentitis, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to scam you. Welcome guys to this video tutorial on exploring different libraries of Contact 5. And today, we're going to explore the giant piano, and I'm also going to add in some session strings because why not? This is a very, very, I think, superior library to use for making any type of track, I think. Just, hands down, it has my money. So, I already have the contact in. I do apologize, I am a little sick still. Um, but this, this... I believe is by far the best piano. I mean, come on. Oh my gosh. Let's write something real quick. What's even cooler is that you can change the overtones, you can add resonance, you know, you can choose between release or a pluck. Um, don't I don't really want to bother with noises because I just I didn't understand this really um, And what you can also do is change the convolution which is I guess the resonance and the type of sound you want it or I guess the The feeling of the sound that you're going to get from it I like the giant resonance because it just it sounds empty like you're, you're like you're in a big room and it well, I, Okay, let me rephrase this. It's not empty. It's full. It's it's full, but it, it feels like you're in an empty room but this piano was, down, say, down at the end of the hallway, but it fills the room with this ambiance, and it's soothing, and it's amazing. That's all I have to say about that, right? And so I'm curious what this will sound like with session strings. Now I'm going to use my same fifth that I always use, which is uh, C, E, and G. And I'm also going to trill these, so it's going to be like a da 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 So... Why aren't they spaced properly? Don't worry, I'll figure that out in a sec. What does snap, snap to sell? Maybe if I go to the paintbrush. Here we go. So now that I clicked on this, okay. We in business, baby. I'm just going to do this for now. I'm also going to take this with the piano. I'm going to copy this over real quick. We're going to go to our giant piano. I might raise the pitch a bit. Yeah, I'm not really happy with that at all. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to add an automation clip to this. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to route this channel. Alright, cool. Now they have this. Uh, one sec. Delete that. Epic. Select that. There we go. Now... So, 
It's going to sound like that. We want this to stay at a decent volume. That way, I'm going to... Let's try this. I want a steady increase, kind of like that. Cool. Okay, now I want to do the same thing with this piano. Alright, select that. We're going to head over to our Insert 2 and our Mixer Track. We're going to route this channel. And we're going to create an automation clip. Again. Yes. Now this is for the piano. I want to want this a little bit stronger than the the strings, but I mean not not by too much. You still want it to kind of match up. This will be more at a constant, more so just a little bit gradual lead up to the constant um, rather than the strings. A little less. This is just, oh my gosh! It's it's. I was I was experimenting earlier with some patterns. Let's see. Oops, you're not supposed to hear that one yet. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and turn those off. But I was already in piano roll. Okay, cool, cool. Got to turn it on. Remember that? Yeah. Alright, then we'll go to this one. <laughs> I keep forgetting. and what each sounds like. It won't play if you have nothing selected, by the way. This is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and change this piano resonance. So it's not as distant as uh, the giant piano, of course. Now, the only way I would see this as a huge purpose to use would be to either making a very mellow uh, inspirational piece, you know, mainly composed of a piano, or relaxing, emotional, beautiful sounding uh, track to where you can make these exquisite melodies just to soothe your ears, you know, it, that's, that's what I see this coming in handy for, that or if you're like trying to make a concert piece, uh, very cinematic, then this is obviously, uh, one, one of the libraries that you would so desire to use, better, way better than FL Keys, um, or at any other library, you know, give it at least, I will say this though, it is very CPU intensive, it is ridiculous, I don't know if you watch up here, you will see uh, right here, I'm, I'm using 20% of my CPU just by uh, using FL Studio, of course, with these libraries loaded up. Uh, and, you know, of course, me capturing the screen is on my GPU, but we'll go ahead and play this. Look at that. A little bit less than 50%. Now, say if I add two of these, we'll just go over to that one. Yeah, look at that. The audio will snap and it will cut if you do not have a, I guess, powerful enough CPU or a multi-cord, multi-thread CPU to, to handle the kind of load that this library has. Um, you will get chopping, and, and you'll see up here, it'll it'll go red or red in your disc, and it will make this god-awful uh, chopping noise. And I can demonstrate that with, uh, with this. I'll just go ahead and... Mm, that's going to take a long time to load, but if, if I were to clone this... Uh, 
we will not replace clone. There we go. See, I'm a. Let's see if I can. I think sustain is what gets it. I'm gonna turn off the animator, articulation, uh, sustain. This. It's not doing it this time. Oh, there it goes. You'll see in the purge, it'll it'll hit red, and that means your disc is maxing out. You hear it cut too. So the purpose of this video was just to kind of explore the giant piano, even though there's really not much to it. It's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you can uh, mess with it. I mean, mess with it yourself. I mean, it it really dry and wet. Let's let's see this. Okay. Well, that helps immensely. Taj Mahal, Concert Hall 1. Cool. That's pretty cool. So I actually have a surprise. I'm going to make a piece uh, using this piano. Uh, I don't know when exactly it'll be done. I'm working on it right now. Um, I don't know if you can kind of get hinted at it by my patterns here, but... <laughs> That's uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just thought I'd say, hey, check this out. This is a pretty cool library to use. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Leave me a like if you liked it. Leave me a dislike if you didn't like it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.